was not focusing on it. Oh my god, what a sentence. I get so confused in this video. Hello, welcome to my channel, welcome to another video. Today I am testing some very exciting makeup. We are looking at the Conceal and Hydrate Foundation and Concealer from Makeup Revolution. They are launching these on the 14th of August on the Makeup Revolution site, but they are already available to get until the 14th of August on Superdrug, so that's where I got mine. I was really excited when these were announced because I really liked the Conceal and Define Concealer, so I was hoping I'd get on better with the Conceal and Hydrate Foundation because I didn't necessarily get on with the Conceal and Define Foundation. Oh my god. What a sentence. I get so confused in this video. But yeah, we are looking at the Conceal and Hydrate foundation mainly because I haven't tried a new foundation in so long. Like I constantly rave about the NYX Stay Matte foundation, which is like my ride or die. I absolutely love it. So it will be interesting to kind of compare something else to that because since trying the NYX one, I really haven't found another foundation that I prefer to that one. The shade range is really good on these. There's 50 shades and there's all different like undertones, but I got F5.7, which I think is for fair skin with a neutral undertone. Um, so yep, it'll be interesting to see how that looks. And I got the Conceal and Hydrate Concealer in shade C2, which is what I also get in the Conceal and Define Concealer. These are infused with hyaluronic acid, so hence the name Conceal and Hydrate should be hydrating. I generally have quite dry skin, I would say. Sometimes it can get a bit oily. Sometimes, I don't know. But generally it is quite dry, so I was quite excited when they announced the Conceal and Hydrate because obviously having dry skin, I need something hydrating. Also, before I actually get into the video, how cute is this t-shirt? It was 2 50 from Primark and it's got cute little planets and stars on it and it says need more space. I actually love it. But anyway, if you want to see what I think of the foundation and concealer, then carry on watching. Okay, so I've got no makeup on obviously and I think I'm just going to go in with the Paul Blur primer at first. So I've just rubbed the primer all over my face to kind of prep my skin. So the shade that I've got is F5.7 and I've never tried this before so this is like full first impressions. I have tried the Conceal and Define foundation before and at first I really liked it but then it kind of started going quite dry so I picked up the Conceal and Hydrate one because I do have fairly dry skin so hopefully this one works a lot better for me. And like the Conceal and Define this one does actually have a pump which I think I prefer. The Conceal and Define one had a doe foot, like a concealer, but this one just makes it more mess free and easy to use I think. So I'm just going to take that onto a damp beauty blender and blend that into my skin. So I've blended that in and first of all I quite like the shade, I think it's a pretty good match for me, it's not too warm toned, um, it, it might be a little bit too dark but once I'm more tanned it should be okay. It's not too matte but it's not too dewy either. The coverage is pretty good, I'd say it's more of like a medium to full because it's covered all my like redness and stuff that I normally get on my cheeks. Um, it does make my skin look a little bit textured. I don't know if that's the foundation or just my face. <laughs> it's not something I normally notice after I put foundation on. But it doesn't feel too heavy or too like cakey or anything. It does feel quite nice. And overall, I do think it looks quite good. It does say it is a radiance foundation with hyaluronic acid. So uh, yeah, it does say medium to full coverage, which is what I think it does look like. It's obviously cruelty free and vegan, which is fabulous. But because it's got hyaluronic acid, it would be quite hydrating, which is good because like I said a minute ago, I do have relatively dry skin. So I'm just gonna go in with the Conceal and Hydrate Concealer in shade C2, which is what I normally get in the Conceal and Define concealer. I actually haven't even opened this one yet, I was saving my impressions for the video. Oh wow, I wasn't expecting the um, 
That's like a really big dofa. I'm gonna try and get up close to the camera. Hopefully it focuses on it. I'll do the classic. That's not focusing, is it? Anyway, it's a really big dofa, which I quite like. I don't know about everybody else, but I think it's a good thing. I'm just gonna put this on the areas of my face that I want to brighten and then blend that in with another beauty blender. So I've just blended the concealer in and I think that one actually has really good coverage, like even better than the Conceal and Define concealer, but it is creasing really quickly. So I'm just gonna quickly go in with some powder and then tell you what I think about that one. So I've just powdered most of my face using the Revolution Pro Hydra Matte Powder. Uh, I've been using this one every day since I bought it. I really like this one. It is also infused with hyaluronic acid, so that should also be quite hydrating. But considering I have used a load of hydrating products, I still feel like my skin does look a little bit dry. Because I found the Conceal and Define foundation a little bit drying, I was expecting this one to be super hydrating. But I don't feel like the formula is that different to the Conceal and Define foundation. That being said, I still do really like it. It has a nice finish, it looks quite nice and natural doesn't feel heavy or cakey. So I'm just gonna do the rest of my makeup and then be back with my final thoughts. Okay, so the rest of my makeup is done. I did actually just film this eyeshadow look, testing a new eyeshadow palette. So hopefully that video will be out on Thursday if I can get it up on time. Overall, I really like this foundation. Um, I did use my normal makeup products on top of it, which was my little Revolution Trio. I, I can never remember what it's called. I think it's like an Ultra Sculpt kit or something like that. They performed really nicely on top of it. Sometimes with other foundations, I do find that the products I put on top of it like then takes the foundation off. But I didn't find that at all with this foundation. For a hydrating foundation though, it doesn't feel particularly hydrating but it doesn't feel drying at the same time, so I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing. I did obviously put powder on top of it though because my eye area creases so quickly, so it's kind of hard to judge, but if I were to wear it like every day, I would be putting powder on top of it anyway. But having said that, it is definitely more hydrating than the Conceal and Define foundation, which I didn't particularly get on with after a while. But the shade range is great. I think this shade is a pretty good one for me while I'm tanned. I don't know how good it will be in the winter when I'm very pale, but at the moment, I think it's a pretty good match for me. Anyway, that does conclude today's video. Hopefully you liked my quick testing video on the new Conceal and Hydrate foundation and concealer. Again, I love Revolution, I love their products. Um, they never normally disappoint. And the same goes for today's foundation and concealer. Um, again, concealer is, I actually prefer it to the Conceal and Define. I find the formula for the Conceal and Define a little more drying, obviously, because it's not hydrating. I actually found the Conceal and Hydrate concealer actually had more coverage than the Conceal and Define concealer somehow. But anyway, thank you for watching today's video. Hopefully you liked this testing video. If you did want to find out what I'm wearing on my eyelids, then I will link it up here. But again, thank you for watching and hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Bye.